Hello there everyone, you know who I am, E.T. Templar, a Link Crusader from Beyond the Heavens, here to entertain, destroy through the power of me, magic, and in this video of talking history, I'm sharing uh, some historical documents that I have that they're probably not worth any money whatsoever, but to me, I'm one of these people that finds any historical documents priceless and interesting, so here we go. Now, there's many YouTubers and communists on YouTube who espouse communism, yet they have no historical documents or no real, like, legitimacy. They don't own or actually have a care for history just in the general sense and even to their own ideology. So, again, I am a major anti-communist, but I got this in a library book sale when I was back in California, which is, it's The Communists. It's a 1934 communist propaganda pamphlet. And of course, in here is, you know, just just the standard communist bullshit, Lenin, Trotskyi, blitherings about kulaks, the bourgeoisie, the, the fascists, the racists, and basically any shit that you would see today by Antifa and other groups. But the thing that's just totally awesome about this is when I picked this up there's a letter in here and I'm not gonna read this but what I'll do is I'll do my best to show it on a video here so you can read this yourself so you can pause the video and basically what it is it's a concerned citizen or group of citizens that are concerned about agriculture and unions and other groups you know, basically being involved with communists. And it's even signed here by this person. And this is a letter to the Honorable Judge, which we see here. So it is a hand-typed letter, to my knowledge, that's authentic, um, about concerned citizens, you know, sending a letter to a judge about the, the threats of communism and how they want to have a communist Marxist revolution here in the United States. Uh, and in California at the time, the 1930s. Now, the ironic thing is, if, you, if you're familiar with California now, California is basically a socialist republic now. The communists never had to invade. The communists never had to spill any blood or lose any blood because Californians chose that fate themselves. Uh, there's millions of Californians right now as we speak that are suffering, but yet they keep voting for the same socialist communist ideas that's taking their money, robbing them blind, uh, while the privileged elite class benefit from the blood money of taxes. Now, the funny thing about this, too, that's also funny, is there's YouTubers on this platform. Uh, one going by the name of Fauch, which he has privileged parents. Um, he exposes the idealism of neoliberalism and communism from the comfort of an air-conditioned room. Uh, he types and espouses and uploads his opinions on a $3,000 computer in which a corporation made, in which involved cheap labor overseas to build and make these chips and graphics cards. But the funny thing is, it's all justified to him because he uses these weird moral gymnastics that allows him to use products of capitalism, child labor, and he, <laughs> he he's one of the people that, if he was alive during the Russian Communist Revolution, he'd be one of the ones identified as a Kulak or identified as bourgeoisie, and then he would be put to the wall over that. If you're a historian, you know what I mean by that comment. Yeah, he would have been put to the wall, and that would have been the end story of him, or he would have been one of the people... Um, judged and condemned in Stalin's purge trials. But then again, Vouch and people who really back communism don't really back communism because they do so in opulence. Like this Vouch guy, he has rich parents, he tweets and uploads his shit from a $3,000 computer in an air-conditioned room, and he could give a shit less about the proletariat, the starving, the, the lower class of humanity. And it's it's all for show because most people... And even within this pamphlet, communism is a lie. It's, it's, it's a tool to get gullible people to do your bidding. Now, of course, when communists take over, guess what? There's still a ruling elite, there's still central banking, and there's still a ruling class. 
and the only difference is everyone else under them is equally poor. And of course, there are people who will back and support communism indefinitely. They'll, they'll, they'll justify purges, ethnic cleansings on the hands of the Russians and, and uh, Cossacks. And they'll, they'll just say it was justified because it was for the needs of the many. And of course, these people who back this live too well to have and, and actually try a communist revolution. The only reason why communism actually took off in Russia at the time was because they were under a czar. They were barely, they were starving to death. They were freezing to death. And they elected to install an institution which they thought was for them, the proletarian and the struggling. But at the end of the day, it was no different from any other tyrannical oppressive regime. And especially under Stalin, it's particularly worse. And anyone who backs this ideology, um, you're either a hypocrite or you got mashed potato brains and you don't know any better. And you just find reasons to justify a fucked up, retarded ideology. But that's in my own two cents. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And yeah, it's probably not worth anything uh would i sell it yeah sure i mean i like to make money but at the end of the day when it comes to any historical uh, artifacts even this bullshit communist propaganda pamphlet it's still priceless history because it gives you a look into history and how do you how do you uh keep from repeating the sins and problems of the past by um looking into history because without history, without looking into it, and without reading this bullshit and this communist, which I, this uh, communist pamphlet, which I have, you're doomed to repeat it, right? But then again, there's gullible people out there. And of course, this is the end of the video where I tell you to like, dislike, subscribe, comment below. And I do have um, goals for May, and that is to reach 650 subscribers. That would be cool and or to get a patron subscriber or donor or whatever they call that that would be cool and of course in closing uh if you buy into the idea of socialism and communism i cordially invite you to go fuck yourself and uh <laughs> that's all uh, see you guys next time god bless stay safe stay healthy and watch out for the mashed potato brain individuals out there.